Dun, the black hole. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. This is Dell. We are on the solo world that I've been doing for a while here. Um, uh, this is going to seem completely screwy because I had to re-record this portion. But I wanted to explain something here and, of course, introdu introduce the episode properly. All right, so... Um, it is fall, which you guys kind of would expect, but after this clip we're going to be going backwards in time to spring, or till the, at least the middle of the summer. Um, I literally have had some issues, and I think this is the reason why I mentioned that I almost had to remake my world. Uh, I didn't have to remake the whole thing, thank goodness, when that happened and it was able to be fixed. I got smart, and I made a save of the world. You know, I'm going to get away from there before I accidentally jump in. Um... I made a save in a separate folder. I, I'm now in the habit, or at least I'm going to try to be in the habit of every time I'm done working on this world, I will take and I will move it, well actually just copy it into another folder that is not related to the Minecraft or Terra Firma Craft files. And that saved my tail end this time. I did have to go in and fix my tree farm. Uh, which was not my idea of a good time, but hey, it worked. Um, I really hope you guys don't mind, because I'll be honest with you, it was going to happen one way or the other. I had to go back in and re-terraform this, because it had not saved. But, so what I did is I popped it into a land world, went into creative mode, re-terraformed it, still took forever. I went through 25 shovels when I did it normally. Uh, popped the trees back down where they were supposed to be, and kicked myself back out which is fine. Um, that's all I did in that, and then I went back to working. The leather, thank goodness, had been saved halfway through, so I just finished making that. Obviously, it's been so long that the oaks have grown, which is amazing, and I've actually harvested and planted some during the last, the episode you got coming up that you guys are going to see right now. Uh, but that black hole over there, I think, is the problem. I think that when it's only happened if I have saved and exited, while I'm by the workshop, which is touching the portion that is glitched. So I'm hoping and praying that as long as I save in my house, we won't have this issue again. Obviously, I'll have a backup, so if it happens, I can fix it, but I'd prefer not to. It'd be nicer just to run normal-like. Um, with that information and knowledge, I will send you guys into the episode where we make some bronze ingots with a little bit of fun. Um, I build a forge. In any case, you guys are going to enjoy the episode. So have a good time. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for, for joining me. Alright, guys, we're back. I've got the last pieces of copper in. Just using maple wood. Probably won't even need all of that. We are running the bellows like mad because, well, you know, I want to be done with this. Hey, our friend disappeared. We had a creeper come over in the middle of the night to say hi. He's gone now. Very hot. We want this to be anywhere from the last couple of bright orange, bright reds to orange. I'm preferring to just do orange because, well, you know, when something happens, you don't get it in there fast enough. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to orange, or, orange, orange on each of them. doop a doo isn't this exciting? Don't you wish I'd shown you the whole thing all? One, two, three, four, five, six copper, double copper ingot. In, 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 in. All right, I give up on speaking. <clears throat> okay, I can't really do that. Any case, so I looked it up. We can skip copper armor, but we cannot skip the copper anvil. Have to have the copper anvil to work the unshaped bronze on, and then you make the bronze. Once you have your unshaped bronze, you do this all over again to make a bronze anvil on which you can make bronze tools, bronze armor, blah, blah, blah. That's okay, though. We had a lot of copper. I have a lot of copper I haven't melted down yet, and there is still more of that copper vein that we've, we've been feeding off of. So we will just get going this direction first. Come on, orange, orange, and you should be orange. All right, we take our two orange ingots. We carefully put them into this portion. Take one flux, put it in, hit weld, and voila, we have a double copper ingot. Now, 
unless I am mistaken, you take this in here in the shape of an anvil or an eye, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, yeah, I fail. And we have... Do, 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 we have a copper anvil. Now, we're not going to put this up here. This is getting a little crowded. We may relocate some of the stuff down here. But we also have, don't have this quite ready yet. So I guess we'll put it right next to the metallurgy table. And we have a copper anvil. Anybody excited? I know I am. Alright, so... Hmm... I think... I think... I think I'm going to figure out what I want to do with that in just a minute. Uh, metallurgy table, copper anvil. Alright, I... I'm going to let you guys go back to, well, okay, as if you guys actually leave and do something else. I mean, it's just like a pause in the video on my part where I spend hours or whatever amount of time it takes to get something done. Still, I will be right back for you guys, right back in a long time for me, when we are ready to move on to the next part of the step. Mm. Welcome back. Let's see here. And we're back. Did you hear it? We have a baby sheep who is trying to grow. We gotta get the mama to come out of that corner. She's gonna starve herself. Silly sheep. So it is the next day here. I've been doing a lot of work on this stuff. You. That way. Over here. No, 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 not through. Not. Why do you want. Fine. You can be in the barn. Yeah, see? Now you find food. Whatever, you guys can be in the barn. I just don't have a place for you yet. She's like, I want to take my baby in. In any case, we have gotten a long way in, yeah, back to fall. <laughs> After the little reset issue. Um, no. Ooh. Really? It's a gate. Close it. Sheesh. Alright. I had a torch I dropped back here. When I heard the sheep. So, we have, I have, we have been uh, working so long on gathering things and getting moving. Uh, I have a new fire, a uh, new charcoal pit, or the same charcoal pit refilled and going again. Although, I opened it up to check on it this morning and it wasn't burning, so I relit it. Now I'm all nervous as to whether, I, I mean, it's lit. Trust me, I lit myself on fire doing it. Our oak grew. I already harvested this front trees and added a whole new back. Definitely need to put more into that. I refilled the buckets for when we actually get some more leather. Doop -doo -doo. I let's just say I've been busy. I added another bellows because you knew darn well we needed to do that if we're going to get the copper going. Uh, forge definitely in the works. I think this is how you do it. I haven't tried it out yet. So I went and got myself. Remember I showed you guys how to use the ever friendly tin chisel to make yourself some nice smooth blocks. Brought those down here and put in a basalt floor. Uh, it is a shale chimney all the way up to a trap door counts as open air according to the wiki. So this should be our flute up to, or the chimney up to the sky, that should work. And then on either side is um, rhyolite along with the whole ceiling has now been secured as rhyolite, whoops. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna fix those, make them look. Actually, will that look funny upstairs? Let's go look. So I've kind of had it in a certain fashion. Yeah, that would be. We don't want to mess with that. That'll change the look up here. All right, back down we go. All right, so we also have, as I showed you guys, a metallurgy table. And we have, yeah, that's a little exciting. You guys saw me do that earlier. But see, that was yesterday for me, so I am retardedly excited still. <clears throat> the next day. All right, put that up. I believe it takes, there's our charcoal, take this down, actually, really, mm -hmm. gonna do that this morning, huh? Hello music, where'd my shovel go? There it is. I think it's funny, you could actually almost decorate it with it if you ended up with a surplus of charcoal, it looks kind of awesome. All right, we need to try this out on some casserite. Uh, uh, I'm hesitant to do that. Let's just see if it works first. I believe it was three pieces, or was it more? Mm, it's a 
four pieces. You have to throw them in. We need a lighter. Fire starter. Three, I think it was more. Yeah. That's not the way you do it. I really gotta quit trying to throw things in that way. <laughs> Doop -ba -doo. At least it's trying now. Is that a good sign? No. Alright, well then, I will go look that up again, because obviously my research disappeared out of my brain. Be right back. Okay. No, open that back up. Take those back out. Ceramic molds go in here to catch the metal ingots. Uh, let's see here, and then we throw, these I believe are the hottest spots, and it goes from there. Alright, so we're going to let those heat up, they are warming, let's go check upstairs. Actually I don't want that many warming, let's just warm up three, because that's what it takes. Oh, now I've got them warming, they don't want to stack. Let that work up there. We just throw the copper, the stuff in that one. That's already wow. Hello, Bellows. You do good things. I like you. Throw some more oak in. Put another ceramic mold in just in case. Doo -ba -doo. We can do this. I will learn this. You will learn with me. It will be fun. Because we have no other choice to be. It will be fun, or else. So says me. Alright, come on. Cook faster. It's very hot. The bellows has quit working. Must beat it on it some more. We're going to have a visitor soon. I don't know why. Every time I'm working here, it seems like there's a creeper hanging out outside talking to me. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Check on this part. I like the look of this. They're very hot. Alright. Back upstairs. Actually, I think they need to be into the stupid molds. I think, I think. We'll find out. <clears throat> oh, we can melt that, which means... Do I have enough in there? Or did I not put enough things in there to catch? I'm going to have enough catchers? Okay, there's enough catchers. We'll let that work its way on. No, don't fall. <coughs> Hello, voice going. Alright, we got the starts of that one. While this is burning hot, we might as well throw another in there and let it start working. Now, in... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. While those are still getting hot, I'm almost tempted to put a forge next to this. I think we need to throw some more of this in. Not like that. How does it work? How? How you work? Why you no work? It's not like that. There's no place to put it in. And the temperature's dropping. That's not good. Alright, I'll be right back. Investigate this. Hold on just a moment. I feel silly. The game did it for me. I put it in like that. Those are the fuel slots, of course. You know, the places where it has the coal icon. Right. <clears throat> I'm smart. Uh, put that there. Let it heat up some more. Actually, I shouldn't need spots on all those, but we'll just keep an eye on it. Come on, come Wow, look how hot that gets. I approve of this. Hmm, I'm going to only put one at a time. Bright red. We're getting there. So in any case, yeah, I really like the way this turned out down here. And we're going to... I, will, I, I don't know why I built it without you. I'm sorry. I was just on this kick and I'm looking around going, how can I do this? And I start gathering and then I start putting up things to try it out and I was not in creative, which is where I usually do it so you guys can join me. And um, suddenly it was all all prettily, pretty, prettily, pretty. it was all built. We'll just put it that way. Ah! Stop it. Stop holding charcoal. There. I can't place that on the ground. I'm not so sure I want that to be liquid. There's one. Put that over there. Mmm, I approve of this. 
So, th okay, let me explain a forge. I'm sorry, I didn't even do that. I'm awake this morning. All right, so in a forge, obviously we figured out these are the fuel slots. These are the keep warm slots. They are the auxiliary slots. Mainly you put in your ceramic molds over here. These, this is the hottest spot. These two are the next hottest spots, followed by these. So this one's the closest to the fire. It's like you're actually sticking it directly in and vice versa, you know, as it goes on and on. Which is, of course, why this one melted first. Now it's just hot again. So that is heating up. It just isn't heating up as fast as these are. We'll put another piece of... Nope, we're not going to. I am not wasting this stuff. Although I will tell you, one at a time is definitely better than having to relight it. That is a very loud fire. So, any day now? It seems to be getting colder. Am I missing something here? Shouldn't be. No, there's nothing on top of there. Yeah, they're definitely cooling off. Hmm. Why you no work right? Maybe that's not showing properly. I've had some graphical glitches in this game, so I'm wondering if maybe that's the issue. It's getting hot again. I think that just wasn't moving properly like it's supposed to. That's okay. The amount of work put into this this mod, I am not going to complain about one or two little things i got to watch myself and make sure are doing right. I appreciate this mod. I very much so enjoy it. I like the other versions of, of uh, Minecraft. This one's definitely been the most interesting in this in this fashion. All right, let's see. I'm an idiot. Let's, because I have absolutely no space to put anything down. Um, 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 um. Oh, yes, I do. Take these. We don't want to heat those anymore, so let's hurry up and do this. All right, take those out. We don't want to actually overheat them. You, for now. Oh, hello. That helps a little. No, come back. I need you. Okay, I got them all. They're liquid, very hot. Let's see, we'll be putting them in here. When they're not all liquid, I think it should work. I hope. Otherwise, we will definitely be figuring this out again. It is three coppers and one tin. Hmm. Hmm. I will be right back. Alrighty then, we got it. So, the trick was one of them was not liquid when we started this. So if one of them is not liquid, it will not go into a bronze unshaped alloy. So we put in three copper... I'm holding shift, I don't know. We put in three copper unshaped that are liquid at the time, one tin unshaped that is liquid. They are have to be in the mold, and you get four bronzes, which is pretty nice because that means you're not doing, well, you're not using a ton of extra. All right, so that's the key there. Now, we had to have the copper anvil because we had to be able to take, put that in there. Our bronze, put it in here. Uh, okay, let it go. Put it down. Good. All right, it's still a hit, hit, hit. So we had to put this in here. Bend, hit, hit, hit. There is one bronze bar. Bend, 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 bend. Hit, hit, hit. I found that's the fastest way to do it. Bend, 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 bend. Hit, hit, hit. Dead on. Bend, 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 bend. Hit, hit. Oops. Hit, hit, hit. There we go. I think I missed one of those bends. So once those cool off, we'll be able to stack them. Actually, I think I could probably put them on the ground already. And start working towards, towards, towards. Can I put them down? No, I think they're still too hot. All right. So we've still got two in there, which means I can still put two copper ingots. Throw that in, that should cook itself, and then I can put the third one in. Put another piece of, two more pieces of charcoal in, and go upstairs and melt myself another piece of tin. Oops, it died. Ah, really? This is my day. This is how it's been going. You guys have seen it. 
There it is. Come here, fire starter. We need you right now. We need this thing going. You can overheat it and lose your metal, so be careful on that part. Throw that in there. Hmm. Let's go check. The ceramic mold over there. That's starting to melt. That's still there. Alright, well you guys got the... Uh, oops. That was still there. Disappeared as we said it. Alright, so I am going to uh, do the version that I can do of the speed up and let you... And I will be right back with as many as I can make. Well then. <clears throat> we ended up with the four bronze ingots. I do have my copper back in this form. But unfortunately... I run it out of charcoal and it wouldn't stay hot. Which is also why I couldn't weld these, because by the time I got them to the faint red and put them in here, they'd always cool off. Blah, is all I have to say to that. So, we are going to have to wait until we have a supply of charcoal again. We've run through every single bit of it from that first set, which is kind of sad. Yep, every single bit of it's gone. So, let's go sleep. How about actually walking out the door? Ease. And maybe running a little faster? Hello, some steak. Mmm, steak. So tasty. So I have a really bad habit of getting to this point and being thirsty and not being able to run. So, yeah. The unsanitary habit of drinking out of gardening water. Mmm. You guys ever see those signs? I know if you live in uh, Colorado, you'd see them, at least around the Denver area, where it says, uh, water not fit for human consumption, used for watering only. Hello, skeleton, that's not going to hit me. Ha! Ha, -ha whoa! Really? You guys are determined. Yes, come over here. Oh, hi, an enchanted bow. Oh, if I wasn't such a chicken. If I had some actual armor. Now let's see, can I get in bed while they're... Yep, they're on the other side of the house. Yay, big house! <laughs> that we haven't decorated yet. Alright. Oh, and I let him in. I let him in. That was a bad idea. That was not intelligent. Not what I wanted to do. And now they're going to hang out there in my house? Okay, that's not cool. Alright, sword time. Wrong sword. Half damage sword. Where'd you go? There you are. They only hit me once, and I'm right at home, so the world will not end. And there I took fire damage, so. Where's the other one? Aww. He didn't drop his bow for us. He didn't even drop any stone or any um, arrows. Very rude. Seriously. Alright then. Do a little bit of harvesting. I haven't really done a whole lot of that with you guys, which means you guys haven't gotten to see. So this is almost ready tomatoes. This is fully ready tomatoes. So we'll grab some ones that are ready. I mean, considering it's been fall for a while. So next spring, we need to rotate this. So I was looking at the crop information. And growing up on a farm, I actually fully comprehend this, and it doesn't bother me. Um, certain plants pull certain nutrients out of the ground. This is based on the same idea. There are different types of crops, and I will go over that when I actually have it in front of me and we're replanting. There's A, B, and C crops that pull different things out. So say, let's just use a real life example. Say you live in uh, where I grew up in Indiana. And you have planted soybeans last year. This year you are going to want to avoid soybeans because the soybeans pulled a certain type of nutrient out of the ground and they will not come be they will not develop as well, they won't grow as well, and they won't be as good to sell. So this year you plant corn. After the corn you plant your seed crop, which is winter wheat. Winter wheat is amazing by the way, it makes the fields look so much better. So that's what we're going to need to do, which means we're eventually going to have our cereals over here, in fact, probably right away, and move the other stuff over to the other. Probably have to totally revamp how I meant to do this initially. 
and because uh, I believe all the cereals are A crops. Not 100% sure on that. I'll have to look it up again. But So that's what it is. We do crop rotation so that it doesn't totally waste all the soil. The other thing I'd like to do in this episode, after uh, probably a break, is to show you guys and practice myself on the different portions of using a hoe. It can actually show you the fertility of the ground. I have not investigated into this. This will be us doing this together. Hello, garlic. We'll move you up there. I believe the soybeans look ready. They are not. Those are green beans. That's why. Whoops. Sorry, green beans. Soybeans are, though. Are not. They looked ready. We're just going to put that there. Green beans are the ones with the sticks. Soybeans do not. All right. Carrots are ready, though. Let's harvest our carrots. That was not ready. It has a brain today. Somewhere. I think it just needs more coffee. I am such a coffee addict. What was that? Oh, the taters. Okay. All right, then. I think I will pause, potentially for a commercial break, and I will be back for more of Terra Firmacraft. All right, guys. We have about just a couple minutes left of the episode. Strange place for a commercial. I know I need to get better at that. But hey, I'm learning. We're learning... Hopefully, those of you who are interested in doing this are learning a little bit watching my flub-ups and won't have to do the same thing. Always a better way to learn. So I figured we'd talk about the next goals, because now we've, we've got the bronze going, and it won't be long before I get that at a point where I'm ready and happy with it. Which, by the way, this is the first time I've actually used a scythe on these, because I know we want more oak saplings. I forgot. any case, my next goal, now that we've got metallurgy worked on, and we've got some of that taken care of, and I'll be doing a lot of the mining and things um, uh, off camera, so we don't bore you guys totally, unless I find myself a really awesome cave or something. Uh, there will probably be a couple episodes where I do that kind of thing, just not constant. Because you guys, I'm sure, are getting a good idea of what it takes in this game to gather materials. And that's literally listed when you look at the actual description of the mod. It's about the fact that it was too easy to gather mod, to gather materials and move right on to the next stuff. I want to find fruit trees. I want so badly to find fruit trees. I have traveled so far. I've mentioned this before. So what will probably happen is a very choppy episode, as if they're not choppy. Sorry, guys. I'm really working on that one. Need to be more prepared. Um, hopefully it's enjoyable at least to watch me flounder my way through the game. Uh, but yeah, I want to travel and find fruit trees. I'd like to set that up. One is all I got from that, from punching the whole thing? Come on. Um, and then set up an orchard, which of course will probably mean more terraforming, but that's okay. Uh, Buckingham will we'll, we'll actually hopefully have a decent shovel by then that doesn't break almost instantly. Yay! There's another one. We need two at least out of this one to maintain. Um, past that, uh, built a forge that was suggested. If you guys have more suggestions on what I need to make, let me know. I am absolutely adoring the suggestions because, well, yeah, I blatantly said it. I am floundering my way through this, learning as I go. It's fun that way for me, but at the same point in time, it's kind of cool to get the hints and tips. Uh, which my best one of my best friends would laugh at me saying that here because I give him hell every time he tries to tell me how to play something because I'm determined to figure it out on my own. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we're, we're just not going to mention that. I'm sure I'll hear about it when he watches this episode. Um, but yeah, so that that's kind of where we're going next is the fruit trees and uh, also cooking. We've got all these vegetables we've been planting and harvesting. We're going to work on switching the crops we already talked about. So, keep going on the metallurgy, working our way through the ages, figure out how to cook a meal so we don't look like we're just shoving whatever we happen to find. I'm literally thinking of the crudes right now, with the whole egg scene. <laughs> That's what I've got in my mind. Um, just my character running after and then slurping down an egg and talking about the fact that, hey, at least I ate yesterday. That's uh, kind of sad. Um, but yeah, now you guys have an idea of where we're going, what we're doing. And, well, I, oh, good, phew, I did get two. Move, stick, there we go. Stick, tree, thank you. Hoop, hoop. 
Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. I think I have definitely used this episode. Uh, I hope you guys didn't mind the re-recorded intro, because the other one was definitely cut off chop somehow. Uh, <clears throat> with that, I will bid you guys a awesome day, potentially weekend. Most likely I won't post another episode until Monday. And uh, I will disappear for now. You guys have a great time.